Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diafne. If you're new here, welcome, bienvenue, and thank you for clicking on today's video. As you can see by the title, we're going to do a quick little get ready with me using some luxury makeup products. I have some Chanel, which I did an unboxing two videos back. I'll link it over here for you guys to check out. We are doing a little Pat McGrath, a little Charlotte Tilbury. Very quick, very nice, flawless face. I absolutely love how it turned out. Simple, quick, it took me less than 30 minutes, you guys. So if you would like to see how I got this look, keep on watching. To start, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. This was featured in my luxury Sephora haul, so I'll link it over here for you guys to check it out. I mostly like to apply this primer on the highest parts of my face. Can you guys see the glow on my cheeks? You guys see it? It feels so hydrating as well. Now for foundation, I'm going to use my new Chanel Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Foundation. I got this in the shade BD141. It comes with a pump, which is amazing. I'm going to start with two pumps and try to see how the coverage is and also if it matches me i hope it does okay so i think it matches perfectly just by first impression i can tell that this is more of a medium to full coverage foundation and smelling it reminds me of the chanel foundation i used back in college so i'm thinking maybe this is the same formula just probably they just revamped the packaging. I don't know if it oxidizes, so we're going to just have to see about that. I'm gonna put a little, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead and then I just splat it all over. It makes your skin look so flawless. I like it. It's a little red for me, like, you know, if I was picking, but when I do my highlight and everything, I think it'll be good. For concealer, I'm going to use my Fenty mixed with my Pat McGrath right here. I've been on a content kick lately, you guys. Like, I've been filming at least two videos a day, every single day. I'm actually off from work right now because I'm supposed to be on bed rest, but I figured filming videos like that's not really too too bad but i don't do anything too crazy because i don't want to do too much i've been feeling better i've been feeling inspired i'm so happy i thank god for that because also it's it's very beneficial when creating content is your therapy all right, next I'm going to use the Natural Finish Loose Powder in the shade 40. This is a setting powder. I'm super excited to use this one because I've heard nothing but great things. It comes with the little Chanel puff. More like neutral beige-ish color. Wow. You guys, it instantly just smoothed that side of my face. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. You guys, you need this. I'm applying this over my face and I don't believe my eyes. I look like I'm putting on a filter right now. Can you guys see through the camera? Do you see how good it looks? Wow. Uh-uh. This is amazing. Mm -mm. This looks too good. I don't believe. What? It's definitely not ashy at all. This loose powder, 10 out of 10 for me. I love it. Can you guys see how nice it looks? Oh my goodness. So now I'm going to set the entire face using this Healthy Glow Sheer Powder in number 70. Comes in this package right here. Very beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. I Some of these products, well, all of these products actually, all of the Chanel products, I showed you guys in my luxury unboxing collective luxury haul 2021 so i'll link it right here for you guys to check out this is the color of the powder i think it looks amazing and it's supposed to be sheer it smells really good it smells like the the foundation yeah i like this this reminds me a little bit of the sephora micro smooth powder but i think the sephora micro smooth powder really gives a little more coverage than this does wow bring everything together all right so i'm going to bronze i'm just going to use my charlotte tilbury bronzer it's as luxurious as it gets baby okay i'm really happy with the shade but i do think it oxidized a little bit but i look very bronzy and i love it and because it's summer 
that color is perfect for me next i'm going to do blush and i'm going to use nars taj mahal for some reason this shade right here i can only find it on nars.com i've checked sephora and it's just not there but this is a beautiful deep orange terracotta kind of shade let's see how this is gonna look on my skin baby because you know what they say Ooh. It looks like gold on my skin. Do you guys see it? It has a little sheen that highlights you. Oh, sucky sucky now. Do you guys see it? This is my first time using this and I really like it. It's like a blush and a highlight mix in one. Okay guys, I'm going to set my face with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray before I put my mascara and everything else. I kind of want to do the Fenty first and then... And for lips, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown just to line the lips. And then I'm going to go in with my Chanel Lip Gloss. This is the Coco Rouge Gloss in the shade Caramel. I also showed this in my Luxury haul. It's a very mauve color. Okay, hey you guys, so quick recap on the look. I think it looks absolutely amazing. The foundation is flawless, and with the combination of everything else I use, this is a flawless base makeup. This was done fairly quickly, right under 30 minutes. You should definitely check out the Chanel foundation. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. If I would recommend top three, I would say the foundation, the loose powder, and the sheer powder pretty much everything if i had to recommend just one definitely the loose powder it's top one baby period this is the end of the video i want to thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me don't forget to like comment and remember to subscribe share this video with your friends and family and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye